Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. There's a popular problem from the YouTube channel Higher Mathematics. Can you pass Harvard University entrance exam? The problem is 2 to the power of x plus x is equal to 5. I thank Robert for bringing the problem to my attention and for requesting my perspective. I will admit right off the bat, I would not have been able to pass this Harvard University entrance exam. And maybe that's why I went to Stanford. So in addition to watching the video from Higher Mathematics, I searched the web and I found a useful reference from the YouTube channel Prime Newtons about exactly how to solve this question using the Lambert W function. Definitely check out the video and do check out the channel Prime Newtons. So returning to the original problem, how do you solve the equation 2 to the power of x plus x is equal to 5? If you limit yourself to the functions you learn in school, you might call them elementary functions like squaring, exponentiation, logarithms, trigonometric functions, there is no way to get a simple exact answer using elementary functions. You're going to need to numerically approximate the answer. So just as a practical question, what is an approximate value of x? How can we figure it out? One approach is to use a graphical solution. We can make a graph of y is equal to 2 to the power of x plus x. Then we can make a graph of y is equal to 5. And all we need to do is plot where the two graphs intersect. And we see that x is approximately equal to 1.7156. It is also pretty straightforward to solve this in a spreadsheet. Let's have one column be the variable x and the other column be 2 to the power of x plus x. We will start out by setting x equal to 1 and we will evaluate 2 to the power of x plus x. So each time we change x, we would change this formula. So now we will set a goal seek that we want 2 to the power of x plus x. We want this to be equal to 5 and we are just going to change the value for x. We go ahead and we say solve for this value and voila, we get x is approximately equal to 1.7156. So we have effectively solved the equation 2 to the power of x plus x is equal to 5 in practical terms. A numerical answer is about all we're going to get. Even if we were to get it in terms of an elementary function, we would then need to evaluate the answer so that we could use it. That's all fine for practical terms. But in mathematical terms, it's often useful to have an answer in an exact form because you may want to do some analysis on it and you don't want rounding errors to compound through the problem. So how can we write the answer in an exact form? There is a way we can write an exact answer if we use something called the Lambert W function. So I want to motivate the Lambert W function by taking a step back and thinking about how we solve equations. Let's say you want to solve the equation x plus 2 is equal to 5. It's pretty straightforward how to solve this equation. Subtract 2 from both sides of the equation so that x is equal to 5 minus 2, which means x is equal to 3. In the first equation, we have an addition, which then gets undone by subtraction in the second equation, and we can untangle the mess and solve for x. Now let's say we have an equation 2 multiplied by x is equal to 5. We can undo the multiplication by dividing both sides by 2, so we get x is equal to 5 over 2, which means x is equal to 2.5. So the multiplication in the first equation is undone by division in the second equation, and we can isolate the variable x. Let's say we have x squared is equal to 5. We need to somehow undo the squaring, which we can do by taking the positive and negative square roots. So x will be equal to plus or minus square root of 5. We have squaring being undone by the square root. Now suppose the equation is e to the power of x is equal to 5. We can take the natural logarithm of both sides. Then the natural logarithm of e to the power of x is exactly equal to x. So x is equal to the natural logarithm of 5. The exponentiation in the first equation is undone by the logarithm in the second equation. Now let's say we have an equation x multiplied by e to the power of x is equal to 5. How do we untangle this mess? We have x being multiplied by an exponentiation. 
There is no standard function that will do this that we learn in school that we call elementary functions. But let's imagine we invent a new function w, which will exactly undo this. So we apply this function w to both sides of the equation, and it has the special property that if we have x multiplied by e to the power of x, it's going to return us x. Whenever you have these types of functions, it's going to be important to worry about the domain and where it works, blah, blah, blah. For now, I'm just gonna say it's going to undo this process. So if we have this magical new function w, then we have x is equal to w of five, and all that remains is to evaluate this function at different numerical values. So in the first equation, we have the product of x with the exponentiation e to the power of x, and so we are going to undo this in the next equation. So this is known as the Lambert W function or the product logarithm. And this will be the function we need to solve the original problem. I'll mention that while I never learned about this function in school, perhaps future students will. There is a movement that the Lambert W function should be added as a standard elementary textbook function. In particular, this Lambert W function provides an exact solution to many things in physics, and so there are computer programs and computer languages which have included the Lambert W function as a built-in function. So now let's solve this problem using the Lambert W function. We have two to the power of x plus x is equal to five, but we're going to need to transform it into a usable form. We want to get it into the form that x multiplied by e to the power of x is equal to some constant. So this will require some manipulation, but it won't be too difficult. So let's get started by subtracting x from both sides of the equation. Then we'll divide both sides of the equation by two to the power of x. One over two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of negative x. So let's continue simplifying this equation. Notice we have a product with an exponentiation. However, in the exponentiation, we have minus x, and in the product, we have five minus x. So we want these terms to match. So we want this exponent to be five minus x. In order to do that, we multiply both sides of the equation by two to the power of five. Then we have two to the power of negative x multiplied by two to the power of five, which simplifies to be two to the power of five minus x. Two to the power of five is equal to 32. So we're getting a lot closer to the form x multiplied by e to the power of x is equal to a constant, except we don't have e to the power of x, we have two to the power of something. So we're going to need to modify this equation just a little bit more. So in order to make things a little bit more readable, let me just make some substitutions. Let's write u is equal to five minus x. So wherever we see five minus x, we can substitute in u. This equation simplifies to be 32 is equal to u multiplied by two to the power of u. We want to change two to the power of u to be e to the power of something. So let's do that. So two is equal to e to the power of the natural log of two. Let's raise both sides to the power of u. So we have e to the power of the natural log of two, all raised to the power of u. Now if u is a real number, we can multiply the exponents. So two to the power of u is equal to e to the power of u multiplied by the natural log of two. Let's substitute that into the equation. We're getting very, very close. We have e to the power of u multiplied by the natural log of two. But on the other hand, we just have u multiplied by that. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by the natural log of two, we have exactly the form that we want. 32 times the natural log of two is equal to u multiplied by the natural log of two multiplied by e to the power of u multiplied by the natural log of two. So why is this in the form we want? We have u natural log of two and we have e to the power of u natural log of two. Let's just make a substitution to make this crystal clear. Let's set v be equal to u times the natural log of two. The equation is then 32 multiplied by the natural log of two is equal to v multiplied by e to the power of v. So we exactly have the form we want. We have x multiplied by e to the power of x is equal to some constant. 
we can now apply the Lambert W function to both sides of the equation. The Lambert W function will undo the right-hand side of the equation, so it simplifies to be equal to V. So V is equal to W of 32 multiplied by the natural log of 2. All that remains is to substitute back to solve this equation for X. So V is equal to U times the natural log of 2, and U is equal to 5 minus X. We just need to solve this equation for X. We will divide both sides of the equation by the natural log of 2, and it's a very simple exercise from here. All we need to do is bring the constant terms to the right-hand side of the equation and bring X to the left-hand side of the equation. So the equation then becomes X is equal to 5 minus W of 32 times the natural log of 2 all over the natural log of 2. If we input this into Wolfram Alpha, we will get a decimal approximation that X is approximately equal to 1.7156. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.